I'm Rachel, and my guest today is Fever. <laughs> Could you introduce about yourself? Well, yes, I'm Vilve, 21 years old, a uh, girl from Finland, and uh, I'm studying business here in Budapest. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time being here with my, in my interview. My pleasure. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> my question is, uh, could you say something about using uh, culture in your country? Oh yes, actually I have a lot to say about that, but firstly I would say that, well, even if you know languages of Scandinavian countries, it doesn't really help in Finland because comparing, uh, for example, Swedish and Norwegian and Danish languages, uh, Finnish language is totally different. Mm -hmm. So, but Could you say hello in your in your language? Oh yes, you can say just like hey. <laughs> so it's the same in it's Swedish. It's same like in Swedish, but there is a lot of differences and grammar and everything is totally different. Mm. But the good point is that actually Finnish people, I think they are pretty good in languages and usually they can communicate with English oh, and Swedish. Really? Yeah, almost everyone. So, uh, how many languages languages in your country that people are very influenced and can use it in business contests? I think. <laughs> it's like fin of course, Finnish and uh, English and Swedish. They are main languages that you can communicate with Finnish people. But also other languages like German and Russian. I think because many of Finnish companies they are cooperating with Russian and German companies. So they are also languages that we are producing. <laughs> and what else I could say? Well, the Finnish people are proud of their nationality, but they don't like to show it. They are pretty shy to show their own culture. But, but I don't see that you shy. <laughs> well, I'm always saying that I'm not <laughs> typical Finnish. <laughs> but, but if we are talking about typical Finnish, well, yes, they are proud of their nationality and with doing business, they are pretty self confident and they trust their own skills. But that doesn't mean that. They are not open to new ideas or anything, but yes, they are, I think they are usually thinking that, okay, we know how to do this, so we are doing it. That's our style, and yes, that's the way it is. And but uh, I mean, uh, in, in your country, um, business men want to do in your way or not in the way of their partner? Well, I think what I think is the typical way to do business in Finland is that they firstly they suggest their own way to do things, but they are pretty good uh, adapting themselves to other, other cultures and they are doing that pretty much. So. Mm. Yeah, that's not mm. But, yes, Finnish attitude for working is that we are very hard working and I can say that we are always saying that if you're gonna do something, it's better to do it well. And we don't like any mistakes mm -hmm. and we like to plan everything step by step that we believe that results is dependent 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 of uh, great planning. So we trust for that. Wow. What else I could say? Well, in many cities, companies have um, very strong local role, and I could say that well, Finnish employees they don't ever 
say anything bad about the employers. They are very loyal for the, their employers and could be even that that after working in one company, uh, Finnish employers em employees don't prefer going to work um, to competitor of mm -hmm. the, their company. Yes. But that is just uh, what they want, or that is uh, there is a rule that uh, you cannot work for your competitors. Well, I was thinking about that, and I'm not sure, but I think sometimes there is possible to make a contract that the company is saying that okay, you can't go mm. uh, working within this uh, within like half a year. Mm. Mm after yeah. quitting mm. you can't go to this this company but i i i have to say i'm not sure about that mm. <laughs> but yeah in in my country it's the same uh, in in the contract uh, it say that uh, but it limited the years mm. it means that in three for example in three years or two years you cannot work for the company yes but um uh, usually some company that they also have a rule that they don't hire a people that from the companies because yeah. there's some um, business secrets and also the conflict in uh, business culture yeah. that uh, they don't want to combine the culture of the company because of yeah. their, their culture. I think for most of Finnish people, it's always like clear thing that you don't go working for competitor of your uh, last company. Yes. I think it's unspoken etiquette <laughs> or something like that. Well, <laughs> I found some information about meetings in Finnish business culture and it was very funny to read because I have to say that I have totally different experience mm. and so if it's okay I read okay. it now and yes. then I would like to say my own opinion which yeah. is great. So the um, well, first thing is that meetings tend to be structured. Well I think that that's maybe true in larger companies but uh, well, and depending which kind of meeting, if it's like meeting once in a year, it must be structured. But I've had a meeting in my my work always uh, once in a week, and then it's not uh, structured at all. Uh, and it's more like just sharing information and ex experiences of customers and, and it's very relaxed but yes maybe in larger firms it could be like that very structured and while well, following a preset agenda and uh, are orderly with one person speaking at a time and that's also, I mean, this following preset agenda. It's it's all the more with you know, larger firms for sure. But yes, and but and that's true actually. Finnish people hate to be interrupted. So even if there is a guy who is talking a lot, you have to wait that he has finished, and after that you can say your if if you still remember <laughs> what was your point. You, you must wait that one person is speaking at the time. And because for Finnish people it's very rude to interrupt. <laughs> yes. And well, and th this, is, this was very funny for me because it's like there is likely to be a little social chit chat before getting down to business. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if this is true because I have totally different experience. And it's like, well, if I can say something about Finnish mentality, I think I don't lie too much if I say that Finnish attitude is more like always first business and then entertainment. Mm -hmm. So my experience is that Finnish people prefer going straight to the topic, straight to the business, mm -hmm. and after that they can maybe yeah something, some chatting or something like that. But my experience of typical Finnish 
short meeting is mm. that not so much small talk and then straight to the topic and the boss starts talking and others are just listening, mm. quiet and if someone has something to say, he or she, she says that and when everyone who is willing to say something important uh, has, do has done that, uh, maybe, I don't know, someone starts to read a magazine and one offers maybe a coffee for others, then a few minutes silence, mm -hmm. nobody doesn't talk anything, <laughs> and just sounds of enjoying a cup of tea and reading a magazine, maybe some comments about news or something, but yeah, people in Finland, they prefer quiet, quiet environment. So they don't talk so much if they don't have <laughs> something important to say. <laughs> yeah. I think it's really interesting. And um, it's like, uh, because I like an um, interview with a French girl a few weeks ago, and uh, what she said is really opposite way with yeah. what you, you say. And uh, uh, the most important thing is, that, for example, French people, they don't want to uh, go straight in ah. internet contests. Yeah. yeah. If you want to be uh, professional and polite, you need to say things. Lunch. Oh, yeah. But for uh, 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 your culture, straight. Yeah. I think for me, French style to make maybe decisions and meetings could be very hard because I think Finnish people prefer making decisions pretty fast and at least comparing neighbors like Sweden. And no, no way, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I've heard that <laughs> the Finnish people they prefer making decisions like and then meetings over, <laughs> continue to work. Yes, and that's also very funny that uh, I could say one very important tip for you if you are dealing with Finnish people don't be confused if the Finnish person doesn't make any verbal signs or communication during a long meeting because as I mentioned before you are allowed to talk <laughs> only if you have something important to say <laughs> of course you can talk anyway but but for Finnish people it's always like if you have something important to say then you can talk not in other case and and I think that the Finni fin Finnish people, they are more comfortable in silence than most of other nationalities. But, but what makes difficult to understand Finnish communication is that they don't use so much body language either. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I think it's pretty complicated if you don't use so much words, but you can't read anything of the face or mm, emotion yes express I think Finnish people they don't really show their feelings it can be like okay I'm happy like that <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what you say is what you think yeah, and uh, what you express on your face it doesn't matter yeah well yeah it doesn't matter actually because yeah, it's very hard to hard to read <coughs> Finnish people of their faces or anything. So you just have to yeah, actually when I think it it's very hard and I I don't find great tips for <laughs> that. Maybe you just have to like listen meet again. Yeah, listen, listen a lot and meet again and again the person and then get to know that better. But yes, Finnish people like when, when they feel that okay, this person is listening to me. And, yeah. and just a few things about, for example, Finnish humor. I think it's very ironical. And Finnish people, they like to tell, tell jokes about themselves. And, well, I don't know. Uh, for me, at least, it doesn't. Uh, I it doesn't bother 
at all if you are joking about Finnish people. It's, we are making jokes about ourselves, and I think it's almost the same that British you are, actually. So, and yes, what else? I tried to find some nice tips. Well, maybe you know about sauna. <laughs> yes, my friend told me about that. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, in the business, they can make a business meeting in the sauna and it's make people more friendly and easy to talk. Well. Yeah, that's right. And it's said in Finland that many of those most important decisions are made in sauna. <laughs> but uh, could you describe something about the sauna in, in Finland? Is it different with the sauna in here? Or yes, it is actually, I think. It means that everybody is in vacant. Yes, yes. And that's uh, how true. men and women in the same room or different room? Um, depends. Well, if you're going, if you're going, uh, what is this called? This place where is swimming pools and everything. Gym. Yeah. If you're going there, there then there is a room for ladies and room for men. But if it depends. There is many like if we are just sitting evening or something with and there is men and women. Yes, they can go to sauna all together. But of course if we don't know each other very well and if there is people around the world from many cultures we understand that mm. it maybe it's not very familiar for anyone but for us it's just yeah. And I think sauna is actually a very important thing in Finland. And I don't know, did you but, know? Um, usually how many people can try in the one room of the sauna? How many people? It depends, as long as there is space. So uh, <laughs> it means that a business meeting is not uh, something private, uh, but many people that are not uh, involved can hear it. Is it right? Well, that's, I think, um, Finnish people, they I think they are pretty good keeping secrets and if you're telling something for Finnish people usually you don't have to even say that okay this is the thing that you are not allowed to talk talk it like I mean that uh, because in the sauna maybe pe people that involve in the business and also people that not involve ah, yeah. so how, how is that people if they know about the information is it a problem for them? Well, I haven't experienced that of that. But yes, I think if it's like just business meeting, then there is only this business business people. Mm. So it's closed closed from others. But yeah, and and I think well, if you are invited for Finnish sauna, you should accept that because I think many of Finnish... It's an opportunity for yeah, business. And I think it's the Finnish style to show that, okay, we appreciate that you are our guest and, you know, yes, that's true. Mm, is it right that I say that uh, they want to be in the sauna because it means that Okay, we are naked and everybody, everything is now clear and we can cooperate 100%. Is it a spirit? In some point, I think it's true, like that. Because then, there you are... I think, maybe we think that when you are in sauna and you're naked and everything, you're completely honest. <laughs> yes, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. It's... It's very no, nothing, nothing cover and yeah, like yes. you can talk about everything. And actually, it's always said that okay, everything what you are saying in sauna stays in sauna. Mm. <laughs> so yes. But the thing is, usually I cannot stay in the sauna for five minutes because I can, I cannot breath, breathe. You know, ah, yeah. it's hard and it's. Mm, how many minutes you can stay in the sauna? Depends. Sometimes for you. For you. For me, 30 minutes. 30 something. minutes? Yeah, I love warm. <laughs> so, that's not a problem.
Well, um, I have just a few tips, final tips, what mm. I could say. Uh, I think uh, punctuality is important, but not as it is in Sweden, I experienced of that. <laughs> but yes, it's important. I think it's almost the same like in Germany. Um, and also what I said about silence, you don't need to fulfill the silence in meeting. And I think some of the Finnish people could get even annoyed if you try to make some soundies or <laughs> they, they can be like, hey, please be quiet. <laughs> because we really we appreciate silence and we feel comfortable. There is some silence between. Yeah. Yes, because I think the positive thing, thinking about it is they can more focus on important information. Is that right? Sorry? I mean, uh, if other people be quiet, so people that um, attending the meeting can focus more in info important information. Yeah, it can be. Yes. And yes, I think there is a lot of to a lot of things to learn about <laughs> Finnish business culture. But basically, I could say that we are not complicated. <laughs> I think. I think it's very easy to deal with Finnish people <laughs> because yes we are making decisions like this and and we are very good with adapting ourselves to other cultures and also willing to learn yes thank you so much for your really detailed and useful information thank you <laughs> it's more than what I'm looking for because uh, um, I'm just making, looking for basic information mm. on how to deal with the people in different country and just try to say them with a different culture, maybe different in, in the way they react in this yeah. contest. But um, the information you give is really useful and interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll come to you with Finland. <laughs> <laughs>